Okay, welcome back everyone. I hope you uh, had a chance to enjoy some lunch, maybe catch a breath of fresh air, uh, enjoy some of the breakout sessions that were available. Um, but we're gonna dive right into our SBC welcome Lifetime back, Achievement you, uh, Awards. I'm getting some feedback. I wonder if it's coming through one of the people on line here, but if you could mute uh, while we wait, that would be great. Okay, feedback's gone, thank you. Uh, so every year, uh, annually, uh, we select three individuals who meet the criterion of delivering meaningful change to the built environment through a focus on improving environmental performance. Uh, recipients are selected by the SBC board on the basis of both their accomplishments and their long-term dedication to the cause of sustainability. Past awardees include architects, engineers, practitioners, and policymakers, all of whom have met these criteria, and many of whom are here today, so it's been nice to see a lot of those faces, which is wonderful. Uh, this year, uh, Sustainable Buildings Canada is excited to recognize two individuals uh, for the first time, uh, and for the first time, an organization, uh, which I think is very exciting. So I'm going to introduce each one of them and then ask each of them to say a couple words. Our first awardee is Linda Chapman. I think Linda's trying to still join in, so hopefully Linda will be with us shortly. Uh, but just briefly about Linda. Uh, Linda Chapman has been an, the principal of Linda Chapman Architects, one of the leading eco-architectural practices in Eastern Ontario for the past 25 years. The practice has been the recipient of numerous design and green building awards, ranging from early adoption of the integrated design team process using biomass construction materials such as straw bales to designing for assembly and, and future recycling. The Ottawa Mountain Equipment Co-op store and the later addition and re renovation embodied all of these innovations. Linda was instrumentally involved in the research, testing and promoting of sustainable de design in uh, the early days with Enercan, IRAP and the OAA's Committee on the Environment and the Greater Ottawa Home Builders Association Green Building Community. She's been a strong advocate of numerous green building rating systems, building energy audits, blower door tests, among others. Project highlights include the first single family lead platinum house in Ottawa, numerous single family passive houses, and developing a net zero energy four unit project. Design excellence of superior energy efficiency residential architecture has remained a cornerstone of her practice. Despite her many accomplishments, Linda is nevertheless happy to retire in 2020 and looks forward to passing the green building torch on to the next generation. Linda, you've managed to make it on, wonderful. If you'd like to say a few words, uh, we'd love to hear from you. Yeah, thank you. Um, I'm so grateful for uh, for ha having been nominated for this award. Um, I just hope it, uh, it doesn't mean that all my achievements are over. Um, I am retired now, but I'm still a big fan of green buildings and great architecture. And um, my parting thoughts are to encourage boldness for the next generation of building professionals. Um, sorry about uh, the connection issues. I'm in uh, rural Nova Scotia at the moment, and uh, internet is definitely spotty. Oh, rural Nova Scotia sounds wonderful. Uh, thanks so much for the words, Linda. Really appreciate it, and, and congratulations. Our second awardee is Richard Lay. Uh, Richard is a mechanical and biological engineer with 40 years of experience designing and building mechanical services, water and wastewater systems, and working for healthy indoor environments in housing, institutional, and commercial buildings. He has also enjoyed a, a career in ski coaching and metalwork. Uh, Richard helped establish the design group at Intermodal Engineering, which became a, a predominant presence in the Canadian lead profession. He has worked internationally and has many professional and industry awards for innovation and high performance building designs. Through the Enbridge Savings by Design program delivered by Sustainable Buildings Canada, Richard is a subject matter expert advising building design teams on mechanical systems to improve energy and water performance on a diverse array of projects. 
I've worked with Richard a number of times in this capacity, and he, he truly is a subject matter expert. Uh, so I was very pleased to see his name on the uh, awardees list. So uh, over to you, Richard. Congratulations. Thank you, Mike. Um, and thank you, Sustainable Canada, for the nomination. Can you hear me all right? I think the feedback is coming from my end. There's can hear you okay, Richard. Yep. Okay. So, like, Linda, I feel like uh, there are some early days back there where we've seen many of these topics uh, grow and prosper. I was involved with the R2000 program in the early days, the C2000 program, a bunch of the NR10 incentive programs that, uh, incorporating the energy modeling and design of HVAC systems. And uh, lots of high performing new buildings and now I see the big challenges of existing buildings. So I submitted that white paper that's up on the board here about our deep energy retrofit of the community hall at Eden Mills. And uh, it is everything people have said about the challenges of retrofitting old buildings but i think the biggest takeaway from that project was the community involvement so reflecting on uh danny's presentation from this morning the uh the issues of community involvement and uh communicating and soliciting input from the user group is a far bigger challenge than the technical issues of how to upgrade an envelope and um, fit a mechanical, new mechanical system into it. So the challenges that I see in the future is really related to how we retrofit this huge existing building stock, knowing that um, it's, it's, for us mechanical engineers, it's it, as much about the details as the grand vision about uh, how to make these systems work, how do we transition uh, from gas to, heat pumps or natural energy sources and um, how to find trades that are able to to build and how to how to make sure make sure these things work so um thanks again for this uh, platform and i've really really enjoyed the presentation so far this morning yeah wonderful i agree with so much of what you said richard thank you uh as we mentioned the third award goes to an organization Linda, I have a feeling we're getting some feedback through you. If you wouldn't mind muting, that would be that would be great. Um, that that this third award goes to an organization, Luf Architects. Uh, we met Danny Pearl earlier this morning. He's going to be accepting the award along with his colleague Jennifer Bennis, uh, and they are accepting it on behalf of their other colleagues, Sadur Shuri and Mark Poduk. Just briefly on Luf, uh, for more than 17 years, they have developed a reputation, particularly in the fields of sustainable and environmental architecture. The expertise of the partners is recognized for the architectural quality of their projects, their technical and professional skills, and their active participation in the academic, professional, and community context. This experience is always based on the search for a balance between the appropriate technique, the economic feasibility, and the architectural expression of the environmental impact of the project. I think all of that came through as a shining example in, in Danny's uh, presentation this morning. So thank you so much to the whole team and I'll, I'll hand it over to, to Jennifer. Uh, she's gonna say a few things. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. So sorry, but uh, Sylvia was not able to join us uh, because of technology. He had uh, 60 seconds of brilliant insight to share, but I will try to do it myself. So I am Jennifer Benis, partner at Love with Daniel and Sylvia. We are very, very pleased to share this award we are with uh, our entire team. And uh, Love is reinventing itself every day to support challenges and achieve and achieve big ideas. LEF is also rooted in solid values for almost 30 years now. And uh, some of our colleagues were even not born, but we are all sharing the same culture, listening and co-designing 
acronym, looking forward for a better world together. So thank you. So great, uh, Jane. Thanks so much. Uh, just to continue, first of all, I want to thank uh, Mark Pidubia, the co founder of LUF back in 1992, and, and Bernard Olivier, who was a partner for many, many years as well. Uh, Sudhir joined uh, over a decade ago and uh, brought a, a form of energy that really uh, probably launched us into the institutional work that um, has been wonderful for LUF over the last few years. I really want to personally thank Sudhir, who can't be here today. Jane has been that that youthful voice that it's not a question of age when you become a partner, it's a question of passion. And she's shown that uh, tremendously, and we're so proud. And it's not just uh, these two partners uh, right now. We're, we're a team of almost 20, and every single person wants to change things. And for me, maybe that's the best. If I could just finish, I want to say thanks to uh, University of Montreal to allowing me to be a half-time professor, to allow us to have Recherche Création in, involved in our practice, to all our employees historically, but maybe uh, to our partners in life. But really, maybe it's our clients that we have to thank the most because they've had the courage to allow us to do pilot projects. They've had the courage to go on a journey where sometimes we didn't want to treat them like guinea pigs, but sometimes it happened anyway. And, and they had the courage maybe to take the message and go themselves and go much further than we can. So it's a real honor. Thank you so much. Nicely said, Danny, Jennifer, thank you very much. Uh, so this uh, concludes our Lifetime Achievement Award ceremony. Uh, congratulations once again to a, a really deserving cohort. Uh, please head over to the next session uh, with our speaker, uh, Stuart Smith. We'll see you over there. Thank you.